Hello and welcome to Only Connect, the show that's all about making lateral connections between apparently disparate clues. For example, if you showed Sherlock Holmes a tin of boot polish, a blonde hair, a Turkish cigarette butt and a silent dog, he could tell you at once that the murderer must be a Moroccan carpet salesman. Unfortunately, Sherlock Holmes was not available to join us. Let's see who was. On my right, it's the chessmen. They are Henry Pertinez, currently earning his PhD in pharmacokinetics, Nick Mills, an amateur Egyptologist with a degree in maths, and their captain, Stephen Pearson, a librarian at the University of Manchester. More importantly, they're all avid chess players. That's the chessmen. Is being a good chess player an advantage when it comes to quizzes? We, we hope so. I think the, the, the lateral thinking, particularly in, in this quiz, um, which you, you need to do for chess, should, should hopefully help us, but we'll, we'll just have to see. Well, let's see who you're up against tonight. On my left, it's the charity puzzlers. They are Angela Town, a retired school teacher and crossword fiend, Daphne Ripley, who spends her day on the phone as a holiday advisor. That sounds like a nice job. And their captain, Mike Smith, who simultaneously collects teddy bears and values business properties for the local government in Burnley. A classic combination. They are the charity puzzlers. So, Mike, how do your puzzles help the world? We... Um have a local hospice and um, every year I set um, dingbat puzzles for them. Year on year it makes more and more money for them and uh, the dingbats are sold further and further afield. They've, they've gone to Australia and various parts of Europe and America and all sorts of places. Well, you see that's excellent stuff. Most of us here, contestants and viewers, puzzling and quizzing for meretricious, selfish reasons. You fill us with a sense of shame from the start. <laughs> so that's nice. Let's go into round one, in which I will ask the teams to tell me what is the connection between four clues. But the fewer clues you see before you tell me the connection, the more points available. Now, Chessmen, you won the toss, but you've decided to put the charity puzzlers in first. So, puzzlers, there is a board of Greek letters. Please pick one. Zeta, please. Zeta. Time starts now. Next, please. Yeah. Next, please. Plane hunt minimus. Oh, it could be. The first one sounded like it, didn't it? Going off the fourth one. Next, please. We've got ten seconds. Oh, no. mm. actually, actually peels of bells. Right? Peels of bells. Yeah. Three seconds. Um, they're all names for peels of bell. I'm going to accept that. Methods of bell ringing, technically, but that's a point to you. So, chessmen. Um, alpha, please. Alpha. Time starts now. Ryder Cup 1989. Was that? That was Kiowa um, Island. Was 91. Yeah, uh, next, next, please. Next. Um, I think we'll have to go. Next. Uh, I think there's one at the death or uh, something. So that might next, please. Oh, oh were ties. They, were they ties. Ties. Yes. Um, that was certainly a, the tied test. Yes. I and mean, we've got lots of time. The Ryder Cup, I think, was a tie because. And we retained it. For, so we'll go for ties. Yep. Um, they were all tied. Two points to you. They were all events that ended in a tie, and their last clue would have been the boat race. I got so excited by that third clue, WI versus Australia. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the West Indies, isn't yes, it? But I almost thought that's a cricket match I would have watched. <laughs> so, charity puzzlers, a little bit of catching up for you to do, yeah. but um, plenty of time. Which letter would you like? Uh, beta, please. Beta, first clue coming up, and I can tell you this is going to be a music round, so you'll hear the clues, and your time starts now. That's bridge over the water, Sam and Gunnar. Next, please. Next, please. That was um, money for nothing. Um, that's Dire Straits. What's the second one? Straits. Rivers. Uh, the name, Ten seconds. Water. Weather. Well, Could you not next? Next, please. Two seconds. Two seconds. Water. Uh, oh, got... I'm afraid oh. you were out of time just before you pressed, so we'll never know if you would have had the right answer. 
possible bonus now for Radio the chess men. TV stations. Um, they were the first records played on various media um, channels when those media channels were new. That's pretty much it, the first songs played on stations. Do you want to give me any specific examples? Yeah, I think one of them was Flowers in the Rain by the Move. I think it was number two, which is the first one played on Radio One. Mm -hmm. um, Video, Video Killed the Radio Star, was that the first one on M MTV? MTV yeah. On MTV. Um, I don't know what Money for Nothing by Dire Straits was first. That was MTV v Europe. And Bridge Over Troubled Water. Bridge Over Troubled Water, first played on Classic Gold. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Capital Radio. Oh, right. So, a bonus point for the chess men, and you may now pick your own letter. Epsilon, please. Epsilon. Time starts now. Ionising radiation. Alpha, beta, gamma, X-rays. Uh, I don't think it's all going next, though. Yes, yes. Next, please. Oh, they were alphas. alphas. Well, is this indicated by oh, Greek letters? letters? Yes. Because it'll be questions on and connect or something, as one of the other ones. Yes. Are we happy to go? We've got 24 seconds. Shall we... Because uh, how, how far can ionising radiation go? Alpha, alpha beta, beta and gamma. gamma. Alpha, and then it's X. And, and they went epsilon. Should we, should we go X for it at this gamma, point? Kind of or shall we take another... And the big for every world have deltas and epsilon, uh, so... Yeah. Ten seconds. Next, next please. Yes. Yes, yeah, 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 by yeah. They're things which are represented by Greek letters. What do you think the last clue would have been? Only connect questions. It would have been <laughs> only connect questions. And you nearly got three points for going after two, but uh, you quailed and went for another clue. Congratulations, there you get two points. Charity Puzzlers, please pick a letter. Uh, Delta, please. Delta. Time starts now. It's better than I don't know who that is. It's in a, it's in a, it's in a song. It's in a song. It's in a song. It's in a song. Uh, next, please. It's lovely. Oh, the characters in the book. Um, is Miss Lovelace in the Rivals? Next, please. I don't know who Philip Tracy is. No, next one. Yeah, the other one. Isn't that? Uh, next, please. Hats. Next, hats. Milliners. Hat makers. Uh, they're all milliners, hat makers. They are all milliners or hat makers. Absolutely correct, and you get the point for that. Do you know who the first two people are? Well, Miss Lovelace was in Trumpton or Chidley or... That's absolutely yes. right. She in was. the brilliant Trumpton. Yes, yes. And what about Miss Betty Barker? No, David Schilling makes the ones for Ascot, for his mother. That's right. And Philip Tracy, 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 Tracy makes hats now. Mrs Betty Barker, no. no. It's another fictional milliner from yes. uh, Cranford. That's Elizabeth it. Gaskell's uh, Cranford. And we've watched that. Yeah. Time and so, excellent. Mm. Points for you at last. Charity Puzzlers, I'm delighted to see. Chess men. Please, uh, well, I say pick a letter. It's going to be Gamma. I think we'll choose Gamma, please. I think you should. Now, this is going to be the picture round. Yeah. First picture coming up, and your time starts now. Any idea who that is? It's a pair of lips. Uh, <laughs> is it modern art? Next, modern art? please. Well, Jackson that would be Jackson's Jackson Pollock. Pollock. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it could be Jackson's. Should we go next? Yeah, yeah, next, yeah. next, please. Oh, that's Ian Pike. Lavender playing Pike. Private Pike. So Jackson Pollock. Oh, there's Pike, Pike, Pollock, Fish. Are they all kinds of fish? Um, He's the first guy. <laughs> um, should, should, we go, should we go for Yeah, go for fourth. Pollock, uh, go for fourth. Oh, <laughs> Next, please. You're under ten seconds. Uh, who is that? Oh, we'll go for fish. Go for fish. Um, they're all types of fish. The names of the people are types of fish. Their surnames are all types of fish. Would you like to talk me through them? Uh, we like to skate hastily over number one. Uh, <laughs> number two would be Jackson Pollock, um, and I'm assured by my learning colleague that there's a Pollock fish, which I'd never heard of. Uh, number three is Private Pike, and number four looks familiar, but I can't remember who it is. Why, it's that brilliant comedian Richard Herring. Oh, yeah. And the first one is Man Ray. And uh, again, I'd love to give you bonus points for your skate joke. Not really. I'd like to take points away, but that's not allowed either. So let's have a look at the scores at the end of round one. The charity puzzlers have got two points, but currently the chess men are further across the board with six points. <laughs> on to round two, and this time, instead of telling me what the connection is between the clues, I want the team to work that out and then tell me what's fourth in the sequence. You'll be seeing the first in a sequence, and the fewer clues you need to see before you tell me what comes fourth, the more points are available. So, puzzlers, you'll be going first again. More Greek letters coming up. Please choose one. Uh, gamma, please. Gamma, you're about to see the first in a sequence. What comes fourth? Time starts now. Herbert, Herbert I think I know your uh, pr Prime Minister's names. Uh, 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 next, please. 
Uh, no, it's H H H. It's uh, they're um, it's Bosch, isn't it? Herbert Bosch. Um, Clinton, Clinton Jefferson. Um, Jefferson. Um, so it's um, well, um, it's Hussein. Bush. Is it Obama? Barack Hussein Obama. Hussein. Um, Hussein. Why would that be? They're the middle names of uh, presidents. What would you expect the third clue to be? Uh, Walker. Walker. For W. And you would be right. Three points to you. Exactly. The fourth clue is for Saint, the middle name of Barack Obama. Did you see that speech where he made the joke about he was named Hussein by someone who never expected him to run for president? No. <laughs> it was very... I quite like to see a joke from a candidate. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if comedy was what we wanted in a leader, then the Chuckle Brothers would be prime minister, and they'd be doing a better job. Well done, puzzlers. Chessmen, please pick a letter. Zeta, please. Zeta. First in the sequence coming up. Now this is going to be a picture round. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Time starts now. Do you know what that represents? No. No. Herald something in heraldry. No. Is it? Uh, next, no idea. Next, please. Oh, that's a sh well, that's a sharp sign in music, but I don't know what the sequence. So we need to go next. I think. Uh, next, please. Oh, that's natural, so it could be flat. flat. I don't know what the sequence is. Oh, that, that could be a double sharp, the first one, I suppose. Although I don't think it actually looked like that. I think it must be flat. It's descending, it's sort of yeah. up one. Anyway. I can't think of anything else it can be. So it's fair enough. It's, it's, yeah, it's a beta symbol, isn't it? It's a flat sign in music. Do you have any idea what that might look like? It's sort of, it's like the letter B, but with a slightly slanting. Ascender, I think, is the technical what term. What a beautiful description, and I'm going to give you two points. That's right, and those other symbols are? Well, the second one is sharp, the third one is natural. I'm guessing the first one could be double sharp. It's a double sharp. They're going down by semitone each time, so the fourth would be a flat. Well done. Two points to you. Charity Puzzlers, please pick a letter. Um, alpha, please. Alpha, time starts now. Um, <coughs> Next, please. Next, please. Six equals cows milk. Oh, seven equals milk. What exactly? Um, no idea. No idea. Oh, God. No letters in it. No Five seconds. I've the last one, Michael. No, no, two seconds. Well, the time is up. So, chessmen, I'm going to throw it over for a possible bonus. We'll have a. Uh, I thought Henry's idea was. Which was my idea? <laughs> did, did you, I can't let you uh, consult. Seven, seven equals water. Why would you expect to see that? Well, we're guessing that it's pH scales, um, but um, we're not totally convinced that all of those things are acid, which they would have to be, I think, for those numbers, but that's the best guess we can come up with. Utterly convinced or not, you're completely correct. Very well worked out. They are pH values, so drinks of decreasing acidity and seven neutral would be water. So a bonus point to you. And you may pick your own letter. Delta, please. Delta. Time starts now. Least concern. Do we know any significance um, of that? It's triage, oh. isn't it? Isn't it? Um, oh, it's, it's, it could it's, be. It's, it's the medical triage. Do, so we, do we know? I can't, we, I, I, I can't remember. Next, next, can't next remember. please. Critical, it's critical or something. Or is it? No, no, no. No, 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 hold on. Shall, shall we go for the next one and then think yeah. about it? Uh, next, please. Could it be critical? Oh, this is species, well, this yeah. is species isn't it? So it's yes, yeah. Oh, endangered. 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 Is it endangered? Uh, I think it could Or critically be. endangered? No, I think probably endangered. Ten endangered. seconds. Endangered, endangered, yeah. Endangered. Endangered is the right answer. It's species, yes. After this comes critically endangered and then... Extinct. Extinct <laughs> is what comes next. Let the world be warned. So when things are endangered, only two steps away from extinct. Points to you. Charity Buzzlers, please pick a letter. Um, epsilon, please. Epsilon, time starts now. Um, next, please. Well, I still don't know what, what on earth is it. It's still talking about it. Is it 1984? Next. Well, next, please. Oh, well, I don't know what's going to come after that. Well, Centre. Centre. Centre, if you want. Centre of cabinet. Ten seconds. Centre of cabinet. Centre of cabinet. Centre of cabinet. I don't think it's... Uh, uh, cabinet. Six seconds. Best spots. Um, we're not really sure, but we'll go for cabinet. 
And what would be your logic there? Degrees of um, involvement in a political party. And right at the bottom, the old proles there. Yeah, yes. <laughs> no, I'm afraid, <laughs> but it's not the answer I'm looking for. So let me throw it over to the chessmen for a possible bonus. We're going to have a guess at Big Brother. Why would it be Big Brother? We think it's groups or individuals with ascending importance in the novel 1984 by George Orwell. You are absolutely correct, a bonus point. You know what, Daphne, I think you don't have the courage of your convictions. I said 1984, didn't I? You often say it after one clue, but you don't reach over and buzz in. No. no. Did you know that 1984 recently came top of a poll of which books people are most likely to pretend to have read? <laughs> yes. Isn't that peculiar? In what sort of conversation do you bring up a book for just long enough to say that you've read it, but not enough to have a conversation? I've read 1984. Can I get you a beer? <laughs> Speed date. <laughs> right. Chessmen, there is only one remaining clue, so you're going to get beta. Time starts now. Temple. I think we have to go for a next, don't we? Yeah. Underground stations or something? Oh, no sequence side, doesn't it? Uh, next, please. Oh, it's uh, Archbishops of Canterbury, so Temple was up to 45. Fisher was the one. Ramsey. Fisher did the coronation, yes. So then, was it Ramsey, Ramsey then Coggan? If Coggan was after Ramsey. Yeah, Coggan was before Ramsey, and I think yeah. he was immediately after. So, so it was Ramsey then Coggan. Yeah. Coggan. You've gambled to get the three points, and you've got them. That is absolutely correct. As you said, Archbishops of Canterbury from 1942 to 1980, Ramsey then Coggan. Very good round from you there, chessmen. Looking at the scores, the charity puzzlers have improved to five points, but the chessmen have got a very impressive 15 points. <laughs> time for round three, the connecting wall. This time, each team will see 16 clues, which I want them to divide into four neat connected groups of four. Chessmen, you're going first this time. Available to be one are one point for each group that you identify, a bonus one point for each connection you can tell me, and a bonus two points if you can get everything correct. So, you have the choice of connecting wall alpha or beta. Which would you like? Beta, please. Beta, OK. You've got two and a half minutes to solve that wall. Your clues are coming up, and the time starts now. Um, what come out? There's a racing pigeon, a passenger pigeon, a homing pigeon, and a rock pigeon. That's, should we try that? Yeah, go for that. No, there's a wood pigeon as well, so that's five. So, that's emitting the first one. No. <laughs> that's emitting rock. No. Emitting uh, wood. Be there's beards here, isn't there? Emitting is... pigeon. <laughs> Um, we think racing. Right. Okay. That's a group. So, um, what did you say? Beards. Soul, soul did you say beards? Yeah. Van Dyke's a beard. Chinstraps. Soul patches. Chinstraps yeah. a beard. And oh, a spade. Can you have a spade oh, beard? Beach cruise would be so fantastic. Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Good. And three strikes and you're out now. Okay. So jab with care. So. Um, also, monitor is a kind of lizard, but I can't see any other kind. Are there, are there some bicycles here? We've got a tandem racing. racing bicycle, yes. Um, Corvette. Mountain bike, obviously. Mountain bicycle bike. and Corvette bicycle, perhaps. So we work in tandem mountain and racing, and I think Corvette bicycle is the most About likely halfway to think. through the time. Should we try tandem yeah. mountain? Well, actually, that would be beach cruiser, carrier, monitor, and galley. Oh. Are they all kinds of. Yeah. Should we go for tandem mountain, Corvette, and racing? Yeah, see what happens. Them. No. Um, Two lives left and one minute remaining. Galley, kitchen, monitor. Could a tandem what is a beach cruiser? I mean, is it one of those... Corvette, is it, galley, a type of ship, a beach cruiser, that's some yeah, ship, a yeah, monitor yeah, yeah. is a type of... Sh is it? So, beach cruiser, Corvette's, monitor, Corvette's a Corvette, Corvette, monitor, Corvette. galley and beach cruiser. You think, that, uh, would, that would leave carrier bicycle, which is plausible. Well, and beach cruiser is more likely beach to be bike. Beach cruiser... Carrier... Do you go beach, go Corvette monitor We've got two, two shots. Do yeah. one, do one, and do that. So Corvette monitor, Galley, and beach cruiser. Yeah. Trying. Thirty seconds. Um, and, and just so it's okay. one life now. Ships. So it's Corvette monitor, Galley, and carrier. Carrier, as in aircraft carrier. Yeah. So that, 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 and that. Yeah. Yeah. Warships. Yeah. Monitor, Corvette, and carrier. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. 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 Ye
That's it. So now your bonus points are available for telling me the connections. The blue group, passenger, rock, pigeons, wood, homing. Pigeons? The pigeons. The pigeons. They're pigeons for one point. The green group, Pe spade, chin strap, yeah. Van Dyke. Soul patch. I, well, I was going to say, I, well, I had to rely on my two teammates for this one as being the experts in this area, but we leave, believe their beards. You were hot on the trail of the yeah. beards quite early, weren't you? <laughs> so, what about the purple group? Monitor, galley, carrier, corvette? Warships. 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 Yeah. Um, they, that, yeah, warships. That's fine, they are warships. And the final group, beach cruiser, mountain tandem racing. And, and the types of bicycles, yes, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Types of bicycle. They're types of bicycles. So you get four points for the groups, four points for the connections, and a bonus two for getting it all right. It's a maximum of ten points. So let's bring back the puzzlers and see how they do with their own new connecting wall. Now, the puzzlers were a little bit behind as we moved into this round, so they'll really be wanting to pick up the maximum points here. No pressure, puzzlers. No. Mm. You will be getting connecting wall alpha, 16 clues coming up. Please sort them into four groups of four. Your time starts now. Waldorf is a yes. salad. Caesar is a salad. salad. Well, well, this is a trophy. Well, this is a trophy. Um, yes. Put in the essence a hair cut. Put in bait. Crew cut. Crew. Buzz cut. Buzz cut. So. Buzz cut. Put in bait. Cal cut as a cut. Um, I can't think of what else is a scooter cut. Shall we go for that? Could be. No. Not a group. 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 Not a I don't know what Armstrong. Um, Armstrong, no. Can't see that. Lance Armstrong. Um, no. no. Put in Lance Armstrong trophy. Is there? No, that's Lance Todd, isn't it? That's um, not right, is it? That's Madela House. Put in Madela House. Yes. Yeah. Um, scooter. 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 Yeah. scooter. Scooter and Beaker are both uh, Dr. Teeth and they're all um, Muppets. But I can't think what the other one's called. Um, Waldorf. Waldorf. That's a guess. Yes. That's right. Waldorf, um, right. So we're starting to move, aren't we? Calcutta Cup, Webellis Cup, Davis Cup. There's a minute left. Yeah. Webellis, Davis Cup. Try those three. Calcutta what? Calcutta Cup. Not Amanda the Cup. No. Try those three again. Did you try Baker? No. No. Did you try Baker? No. With the cups? No. No. There isn't a cook cup. But no. well, what's, that, what's the hairdos then? Crew cup. Um, crew cup. Put in the basin. Bulls cup. No. That's three. I have to pick up the pace a bit now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Time ticking fast. Definitely. 30 Definitely. seconds. No. Nansen Mandela, is it? No. Nansen Mandela know. is a trophy, is it, Michael? No. No. That's, it, That's a group. Yes. Three strikes and you're out, but um, don't worry about that. The clock's ticking. Get a group. That's not a group. You've got two attempts. Your last one must be correct. And you're out of time. You got two groups, so you're going to get two points for that. I'll give you bonus points if you can tell me the connection. Waldorf, Beaker, Dr. Teeth, Scooter. They're all um, Muppets. Muppets after Sesame Street. Lovely. Muppets. Bonus point mm -hmm. there. Caesar, Buzz, Pudding Basin, Crew. Haircuts. haircuts. They are haircuts. You can also get bonus points for the groups you didn't get, so let's resolve the wall. There it is. So, that red group. Nelson Mandela, Webb, Ellis, Calcutta, Cook. They're all sporting trophies. Can you be any more specific? Uh, well, they look like they're all rugby, rugby. trophies. They okay. are rugby, rugby trophies, trophies, so that's a bonus Antonio. point. And the last group, Davis, Gillespie, yeah, Armstrong, Armstrong and Baker. Well, are they all jazz musicians? Jazz musicians. I'll accept that jazz trumpeters, Miles yeah. Davis, Dizzy Gillespie, Louis yes. Armstrong, Chet yeah. Baker. So, two points for the groups, four points for the connections. You've got a total of six points. Let's see how that leaves the overall scores. The charity puzzlers have got 11 points. But the chessmen have a scary sounding 25 points. Nevertheless, dozens of points available in round four. It's the missing vowels round, where we take names or phrases such as only connect, 
we whip out the vowels and we squidge together the consonants. The teams then have to tell me what those disguised names or phrases are. They're all connected, of course, but I will tell you the connections up front. The first group of names or phrases are all hors d'oeuvres. Let's go. Chessmen. Antipathy. I'm going to accept it one point. Chessmen. Angels on horseback. Yes, it is. One point. Chessmen. Karama Salata. One point. Chessmen. Stuffed mushrooms. You all must be hungry. <laughs> Next group are all paintings sold at record prices. Chessmen. Irises. By Van Gogh. One point. You don't know? It's Rothko's white centre. Next clue. It's a tough one. Picasso's Garçon à la Pipe. Next clue. Puzzlers. Massacre of the Innocents. Yes, it is. By Rubens. One point. Next category. Scottish musicians. One point. Puzzlers? Eddie Reader. Correct. Next clue. Chessmen. Harry Lauder. One point. More obscure one here. Joe Egan. The next category are all imperial measurements. Chessmen? Acre. One point. Chessmen? Fluid ounce. One point. Puzzlers? Nautical mile. One point. Chessmen? Barley corn. Yes, it is. Next category, Oscar-winning animated films. Chessmen. Happy feet. One point. Well, that sound means it's all over bar the shouting, and it will be shouts of triumph for the chessmen, who are through to the next round with an incredible 36 points, and wails of despair for the charity puzzlers, who are out of the competition with 14 points. Unlucky puzzlers just goes to show that goodness gets you nowhere. <laughs> well done, chessmen. Connections get you everywhere. And I should know. Please join me next time when two more teams will be battling to spot relationships as intricate and surprising as an Arkansas family reunion. Goodbye. <laughs>